Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at a fairly simple yet sort of effective Trojan, and this is a, essentially it pretends to be the Windows Activation Service, or at least tries to pretend to be the Windows Activation Service. I'm actually dubbing this video as it goes on, so I might be jumping around a little bit. Anyway, uh, it bundles itself with uh, one of those fake freeware PUP installer kind of deals. And as you can see, it tries to be a free YouTube downloader. And of course, this is not actually a free YouTube downloader at all. This is a very small program that simply launches yet another slightly larger, but still very small program. And for some reason, it installs itself to see Windows. I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, this has actually also created a startup entry to... Um, of course run at startup and this will actually launch the payload of the Trojan every two minutes Now later on in the video uh, it Gets a little more interesting with that two minutes, but anyway So you would install this and you would have your free YouTube downloader that doesn't work and Nothing's going to happen for two minutes Okay, so our two minutes have elapsed, and now we are greeted with a very fake-looking Windows activation window. And it's telling, us, it's telling us that we must activate within one day to continue using all Windows features. And we have some very nice fake buttons, which are just highly artifacted JPEGs. I mean, look at this. It's terrible. And, of course, this is a very simple Visual Studio program, I assume... Uh, yeah, the Activate Windows Online Now and Ask Me Later buttons aren't actually buttons, they're just part of the image. Uh, there's only one button on here that says Activate, which we will click now, I suppose. There it goes. Got our nice little status bar down here. Looks like it's doing something, at least. And at the end, it will tell us... Oh, it can't activate Windows. We have to call this 1888 number, which I'm not doing, by the way. I'm not calling these people. Anyway, we have a little hyper. <clears throat> excuse me. We have a hyperlink down here that says "Activate by Phone," which doesn't do much of anything. And we have a nice support button, which opens a looks like a log me in kind of deal back here. And as you can see, it has run itself again because two minutes have elapsed. And this is an interesting side effect of this program, which we will explore in a little bit. I'm sort of telling the future here because of this dub. Anyway. So we go to msconfig, as you can see it'll run at startup, so every time you start your computer this will run every two minutes and open up a window every two minutes. Thankfully this program is so simple and it's quite easy to remove. We're just going to use Malwarebytes uh, free for this. You could just delete the files, but this is easier. And about a week ago, this wasn't detected by much of anything. I think it had like 1 out of 55 detection on virus total. And thankfully, even Malwarebytes detected it. It wasn't in that 1 out of 55, but it detected it as a PUP, so kudos to them. Anyway, so we got another window open, and we're going to create a little bit, of, a little bit of a tile artwork going on here. So we'll go through the installer. Yes, install, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And the interesting thing about these um, Windows activation windows is that you can't actually close them. You just click on them and use Alt F4 keyboard shortcut. And that will work. However, you know, not everybody's going to know that. And at this point, as you can see, we have like four of these Windows activation buttons. And I've gotten this crazy idea. If you just, const if you just run a ton of these free YouTube downloaders, will it create that weird, like, the solitaire, like, winning animation thing. Well, we have a ton of them running now, so I suppose we'll find out in about two minutes. Oh, there's our first one. So we're going to make a nice little bit of artwork here. Oh, now it's going to stack a ton of them. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, now we have a bunch of these Windows activation windows. So I'm just going to create some artwork, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, so now as you can see, I'm putting the finishing touches on my creation here. And that is just beautiful. And it just keeps stacking more and more of them. Just great. 
So now I've pretty much completely obscured the malware by its window, but thankfully I believe I'm able to actually get to everything. So we're just going to go ahead and start a scan. Now, I know what you're thinking. How are you going to get that window to, like, not be in such a precarious spot? Don't worry, I've got a plan for this. thinking I'm brainstorming okay all right we got the we got the taskbar we can move that over so now with help from a little bit of arrow snap wait for it wait for it I'll figure it out just give it a minute oh nope oh, there it is all right we arrow snapped it nice so now we're gonna actually be able to interface with malware bytes which is nice so right now, as you can see, it's doing a threat scan. This scan is, of course, very fast. It takes like a minute on my system. Your mileage may vary, of course. And this is just ridiculous. But you gotta imagine, if this was on, you know, if somebody was actually infected with this, it would pop up this window every two minutes. But anyway, enough chit-chat. So you can see we have 218 threats, apparently. So we're just gonna move the window down, click Remove Selected actually removing everything we'll click finish and unfortunately uh, as you can see we're prompted to reboot but there's no way we're getting to that window there's so many of these windows activation things on top of it but thankfully we can just go ahead and reboot as normal nice effect all right, we are back into Windows, and the Trojan appears to be gone. For YouTube downloader, shortcut doesn't work anymore. And we'll just go into C Windows. The folder is not there anymore. Go ahead and check out MS Config. Make sure it's not in startup. It's not. So Malwarebytes killed it. Thank you all very much for watching, and take care.